Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar from the latest weather warnings as we do have numerous rain warnings issued over the weekend so we are going to continue to see heavy rain on top of very saturated ground could continue to cause more and more issues. But let's look at that in the latest from the UKV looking at the precipitation and the temperature over the coming days. Fortunately the run we saw yesterday which showed a severe storm arriving on Monday it has backed off from that idea and it looks storm me it looks unsettled heavy rain and strong winds but not the 90 mile per hour gusts we were seeing in yesterday's run so that is a good thing today but it will probably remain fairly miserable fairly unsettled um, and yeah not particularly great out there over the next kind of four or five days or so Longer range, though, we continue to see changes appearing as we head towards Christmas from around the 20th of December onwards. That's the kind of period we're looking at for changes to appear. Initially, it looks like the jet stream might shift slightly further northwards, allowing higher pressure to build in. So it could turn settled for a time. And then there are runs that do continue to push that high pressure further northwards and could develop northerly or even easterly winds. Now, the GFS has backed off slightly from that big northerly it was showing yesterday, but it is still fairly amplified with opportunities for colder weather into the final week of December. GM only gets out to day 10, so only on the periphery of that, but still starting to show a more amplified jet stream. And the ECMWF, funnily enough, goes for a full-blown easterly wind as we head in towards Christmas, arriving on Christmas Eve, lasting through Christmas Day and Boxing Day, uh, pushing in some cold air, nothing extreme, no beats from the east, but definitely cold enough for snow and for generally a wintry Christmas period if the that did come off. At the moment, similar to yesterday, it is still an option within the ensembles, as we'll see at the end of the video, but it's not the favoured option. It's probably maybe a quarter of runs, a fifth of runs, us kind of showing this sort of pattern. The others are more around average. I will definitely say, though, it is looking like we will see a shift into the final days, 10 days or so of December, but how big of a shift it will be, uh, that is still yet to be determined. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. If we start on the live radar, once again, we've got heavy rain moving in from the west this evening. Recording this around half eight on Thursday. You can see it's not too bad for most areas, and today it's actually been fairly dry uh, in many areas. But rain is returning, and it will continue to rain over the coming days as we see more and more bands. If we do look at the temperatures, uh, you can see that generally temperatures aren't too bad out there at the moment. They are fairly mild, but chillier areas moving in behind this next weather front. So still pretty mild. Double digits, which is, uh, well, at night time, which is uh, above this kind of daytime high by a good few degrees, uh, or by the, the, the average daytime high, that is. Um, so it is very mild. It will be chopping and changing over the next few days. Do look at the weather warnings. You can see we have weather warnings issued for Saturday and Sunday. Initially, across parts of South Wales here from midday on Saturday until 6 p.m. on Sunday for heavy rain coming in off the Irish Sea. Again, 30 to 40 millimetres, maybe up to 60 or 80. And again, in itself, not ridiculous as amounts, but on top of very saturated ground, that's why it could cause some big issues. Another rain warning here issued out towards the Lake District and for much of northern and far northwestern of England. Again, looking at 30 to 50 millimetres, maybe even as much as 100 millimetres, and that expires at 6 p.m. on Sunday. And then as we head into Sunday, still got those two warnings issued and then a further rain warning issued for parts of northern Wales here up towards uh, Snowdonia. Again, we're looking at heavy rain for the full 24 hours of Sunday there. 30 to 40 millimetres millim quite widely, maybe up towards 80 to 100, again, falling on very saturated ground. These western portions, um, more southwestern England, south Wales recently, but these western portions just really been hammered by rain over the past few weeks and months. So in these areas, any kind of moderate to heavy spell uh, has got uh, the chances of causing some quite big issues. Now, do look at the latest UKV. You can see that rain moving in from the west at the moment, and it will continue to push in. It will kind of fade away overnight, but we'll give a spell of rain for most for at least a couple of hours. It will be very slow moving eastwards and really only arriving towards eastern England by tomorrow lunchtime. And there it will kind of drift through, being a bit more light as it clears. Into Saturday morning, it's actually a dry start, probably quite chilly actually out there. And then the next spell of heavy rain arrives into the afternoon. You can see why we got those warnings issued for southern Scotland and northwestern England as the rain really piles in off the Irish Sea. And then as we head into Sunday, more heavy rain, but more southerly focused. And that continues to push in. And then into Monday, the full weather system clears through. This is the storm system we thought could be really lively yesterday. 
backed up from that. You see nowhere near as well developed. But that clears through, giving another spell of really heavy rain as it does clear. Now, if you look at the wind gusts, you can see it's not going to be ridiculous uh, like it was showing yesterday. But still, we're looking at kind of 40, 50, 60 mile per hour at time. Look at that, maybe even a 70 there into Saturday. So it's still fairly unsettled, fairly stormy, but just nowhere near as extreme um, as, of course, with Storm Bram and, of course, with the run yesterday. If you look at the max temperatures as we head into Friday, it's a bit of a chilly start in the west with that cold front moving through. And it's the afternoon around kind of 6 to 11 degrees, so around average or above average for the time of year. Into Saturday, a bit of a chillier start further southwards. We've got clearer skies and it is reasonably cold. And you can see into Saturday afternoon, more around the average mark, around kind of 5 to 9 degrees. But milder air is moving back in from the west. And you can see by Sunday afternoon, we're all pretty mild again, hovering around the double digits. So a pretty mild Sunday there. Into Monday, still fairly mild, touching double digits in some spots, uh, but for many, 7 to 9 degrees. And then into Tuesday, it will be turning colder, maybe only high single digits or even mid-single digits or some chillier air moving in. But generally speaking, it is average to above average for the next five days with that westerly flow. More milder sectors and than colder sectors. But I do think that balance will shift as we do head to around that sort of 20th of December point where it does look like we are perhaps going to start to revert more towards average to below average temperatures. And it could turn fairly chilly as we head towards Christmas. Now, if you look at the latest GFS, you can see it's a west to southwest flow. Lots of very unsettled conditions. You see all those blues and purples towards Greenland, northern Canada, and, of course, Iceland. That is the tropospheric polar vortex. Very unsettled, very well contained there. Some really deep lows out across the far north Atlantic. And that just keeps this westerly flow going. We need to kind of clear that away if we're going to see anything cold or anything really different, if I'm being completely honest. You can see as we head towards that 19th, 20th of December, you can see a little bit of amplification starts to appear within the ensemble, uh, within the GFS here. And you can see that develops further as we lead up to Christmas. Those blues and purples are nowhere near as concise and well organised across Greenland here. So it doesn't necessarily mean we're definitely going to go cold, but it means a change is afoot. Here, the high pressure ridge actually goes into Eastern Europe and we actually go pretty mild, stays fairly unsettled. And then right towards the end of the run, the high actually drifts towards Svalbard and Scandinavia. So give that another couple of days. Uh, be interested to see if this swings in from the east. That's something to keep a close eye on. But at least in this run, it is a change, um, but it wouldn't be a massively cold change, at least in time for Christmas, maybe in towards the new year, it could uh, sort of develop into something a bit colder. But the amplification, and that push northwards from the blocking pattern uh, isn't quite in the position it was in yesterday, where it was very cold from the GFS. But I did say we're going to see a lot of chopping and changing, regardless of what eventually actually happens. We're going to see a lot of chopping and changing, and that is just inevitable with this sort of scenario, where we've got a pretty strong blocking signal, but the jet stream and the tropospheric polar vortex uh, has been winning out the last couple of weeks, and it's whether it continues to win out or does eventually it lose its strength uh, and lose its sort of control over our weather and we finally do see those blocking patterns take over. We'll have to wait and see, but it looks like the block uh, is going to try and have an, another attempt in the lead up to Christmas. Now, if you look at the GM, again, very similar over the coming days, very unsettled. Those blues and purples very well uh, sort of organised there towards Greenland and Iceland. And then again, out towards day 10, you can see it kind of breaks up a bit with a bit of Atlantic um, ridging there up towards Greenland, but still very strong tropospheric polar vortex. Yes, focus more across northern Canada, but that's still going to shove a lot of momentum our way. So even though, yes, a block is appearing there up towards Iceland, up towards Svalbard, up towards Scandinavia, and could attempt on another day to bring easterly winds, I would be very sceptical here just because of that big blob of purple there up towards northern Canada in Greenland. Um, that would suggest a very strong westerly flow, very strong jet stream. You can see that coming out here. It's amplifying around the UK, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if that did flatten given the strength of those lows. But nonetheless, it is still having a go at trying to change the pattern there in the lead up to Christmas. Now, as I said, the ECMWF has a go and is actually successful in a pattern change. You can see, the, again, it's very similar to the other runs. Very strong low-pressure systems. That's locked in for the next kind of seven, if not eight or nine days. And then around the lead-up to Christmas, this is where the GM got to. Very strong tropospheric polar vortex. But the high-pressure wins. It takes its time. The lead-up to Christmas, it takes its time building up towards Scandinavia. But eventually, it's able to establish itself 
and it does push in easterly winds. Now, because of the strength of the tropospheric polar vortex, it's not got a lot of cold air pooling into the mid-latitude. So if we look at the upper air temperatures here, we're not seeing a beast from the east, and that's because all the cold air is contained into the Arctic. Uh, and on another sort of pattern, if this uh, or all this cold air was shifted further southwards uh, with a bit more of a disturbed north pole, then we could have been pulling in minus 10, minus 15 ice firm. Here, though, it's more around the minus 7, minus 8. Still cold, still potentially wintry, but it's not very cold, and it's not, um, sort of, as I said, beast from the east-like conditions, even though the synoptics are fairly similar with a very strong easterly wind. So very cold there for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and into Boxing Day as well. And given this sort of chart, I wouldn't be surprised if this ridge tried to head up into the Greenland, into Greenland there and open the door to another north or northeasterly blast. So... Yes, GFS has a go. GM looks like it's having a go. The Eastern Earth has a go and actually does succeed with that pattern. But again, very interesting. This is showing easterly winds. The GFS yesterday was showing northerly winds, which tells me the runs are picking up on something. But by no means are they agreeing or got a sort of consistent um, uh, pattern in mind at this stage. So... Very much one to keep an eye on, but definitely looks like around the lead up to Christmas, around the 20th to 25th of December, then there is a looks like there's definitely a scope for a change. We've already said that once, maybe even twice this month so far, right at the start of the month and sort of a few days ago um, when we were looking further, further back into early December for a bit of a change. And yes, some slight changes in terms of maybe the upper air temperature shifting, but never seeing that blocking pattern really taking off. So could a third time be the charm? We'll have to wait and see. Ensembles are definitely showing it, not as the favoured scenario, but definitely are showing it. You can see here from the latest GFS, it's average to above average all the way out to the 20th of December. And that's where we start to see a bit of a shift. Some colder runs appear from the 20th onwards. Still plenty, average to above average. So that's definitely um, sort, of, uh, sort of 50 percent of runs, if not more. And then there's quite a few runs that are chilly, average to below average. And then you see here there's about five or six, so around a fifth of runs, around 20% that do go cold or very cold, around the minus, then, minus five there to minus 10 isofoam. You see the operational GFS, which had a go but didn't quite pull off. That is one of the milder runs. It's above not only the 1991 to 2020 mean, but the actual ensemble mean for today's pattern. You can see unsettled still longer term because it does reduce it's not as big a spikes it's not as frequent and that's because there'll be a, a plenty of ensemble members here that do start to build that high pressure in like the ecmwf operational run there'll be plenty within the gfs that does something similar whether it actually pulls cold air in or not you know we we'll have to wait and see but definitely showing more of a high pressure influence we can see that from the sea level pressure here rising pressure in the lead up to christmas so even if we don't see a block even if we don't see uh, necessarily a high latitude block northern blocking and actual cold air moving in does look like there is another chunk of runs that have high pressure more sat over the top of us or extending in from the south which would mean yes we wouldn't probably see snow but we could see frost and it could be more of a settled christmas period so the chance of being exceptionally unsettled are starting to reduce it's just you know, what is the pattern that does take over could it be cold and wintry could it just be uh, more of a mixed pattern between low pressure and high pressure? Or could it just be high pressure sat over the top of us? Now, if you look at the ECMWF ensembles, now these are just coming out as I speak. And you can see the operational ECMWF is uh, one of the coldest runs here. Uh, it's not the coldest, but it's in the bottom five of the ensemble members here. So it's the bottom 10%. Got quite a few runs that get close to the minus five and then a few go below it but as i said the majority are still averaged maybe slightly below average so not again an overwhelming signal at this stage but definitely looks like a possibility and again similar to the gfs from around the 19th 20th onwards precipitation does start to reduce so again we'll have to keep a very close eye on this over the coming days again i don't want to get anyone's hopes up too much because We've had this kind of instance twice already throughout kind of end of November through to December where we thought a pattern change could come in the next sort of 10 days and it kind of dwindled as we got nearer to it. Uh, but I'm really hoping that this uh, is going to be a pattern change, whether it actually turns cold or wintry or not. And uh, that's not really the point. The point is to see something that's not unsettled, wet, windy and stormy like we've seen for the past three uh, maybe even four weeks come uh, sort of the end of this potential stormy spell. 
hopefully in time for Christmas, I know a lot of people got plans to go traveling, um, you know, go out and about meeting families, going out for walks, things like that. So hoping that at least it is drier, whether it's, you know, wintry or frosty, or whatever, just hopefully it does turn a bit drier. Um, there are, again, increasing signals for that, but still uh, going to have to see some more runs to, uh, to have some actual concrete, concrete confidence on that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.